don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? This is the BK Cops 360 here. I hope you've been enjoying my coverage of Microsoft's, you know, Windows 10 event. And this is going to be one of the last videos, one of the final videos. And this is this is some pretty big stuff. Now, of course, Microsoft has been saying that. Look, they want to bring streaming to the Xbox One and to the PC. They want to allow you to stream Xbox One games straight to your PC. Kind of like what Steam has going with uh, Steam in-home streaming. So pretty much, if you've got Forza Horizon 2 or whatever, um, you've got your Xbox One downstairs and you're like, Fuck, I just want to play on my PC, I want to play this on my PC. And I'd assume there'd be mouse and keyboard support, hopefully. Like, not for Forza Horizon 2, obviously, but for like another game. You do have the option to stream that game to your PC, and that right there, it's pretty cool. Now, of course, it's not the same as you no know, having your PC games on your Xbox One. So, you no know, playing like Dota or CS:GO or something on the Xbox One, but at the same time, it's still pretty cool. Like you have the ability to stream from your Xbox One to your PC if you feel so, if you think that's needed, if you want to. And I, I assume Microsoft would add some kind of. Uh, blah. I assume Microsoft would add some sort of keyboard and mouse support with it, like I said before, because they need to, they really seem to be pushing PC gaming with this event, or, you know, for a few years, Microsoft has been going out and saying, you know, look, we're supporting PC gaming, we care about PC gamers, blah, 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 all this other shit, and they haven't actually shown it, but with this, with DirectX 12, etc, etc, they really seem to be you know, looking for it. I think they were just waiting for the perfect time. And of course, Windows 10 is the perfect time. Because as I said before, Windows 10 is coming on Xbox One. It's coming on PC. It's coming everywhere. So they, they can easily allow in this one ecosystem, hence the name Xbox One, they can allow such, such seamless interaction between all the different platforms. And it's what Microsoft was pretty much trying to like push since 2012, 2013. It's been much since the release of Windows 8 and then the release of Xbox One, but they weren't actually successful until pretty much now. Now they're actually starting to do something with it. So, you know, if you want to stream Forza Horizon 2 to your PC, feel free to, bruh, because you can do it. You'll be able to do it when Windows 10 comes out. And, um, honestly, it's some really good shit. It's some really good shit. And then when Phil Spencer himself, the Xbox boss, when he was asked, what about the opposite? What if I want to stream a PC game to the Xbox One? He went out and said that, look, it's a possibility. It's something we've definitely been looking at. And he's been saying, if there's lots of demand for it, if people truly want it, Microsoft will look into it. And we could see, repeat, we could see streaming PC games to the Xbox One. Imagine seeing that, guys. Imagine playing like CSGO or imagine playing something like, uh, what is it called? Uh, that, that bloody, that sick car game, Project, oh, Project Cars is coming on Xbox One anyway, but PC exclusives like DayZ, the DayZ is coming out on PS4, okay, this is awkward, uh, what's a PC exclusive, uh, CSGO, uh, even though it's on 360, it doesn't really count, CSGO, like Dota, League, um, Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa is a really big racing sim, I've done a benchmark video review on it before, uh, you know, all these exclusive PC games, look, you guys know there's a bunch of PC exclusive games, I just can't think of off the top of my head, but while I talk, while I blubber on, I'm going to look through my Steam library, but yeah, imagine, just imagine the possibilities, the endless, all the streaming, now of course, when we talk about streaming, remember that you're going to need to have like a decent like local area network connection kind of thing if you're doing this by wi-fi you're gonna really want to hope that you have a decent um like local area network like decent connections between your router your xbox and whatnot your pc because when you're streaming like it's not using bandwidth obviously but you still need speed from your PC to your Xbox One, you need the speed link there. So obviously, Ethernet would be the best, the fastest thing. But of course, you know that's not possible. And of course, other games on the PC that you could see on the Xbox One through streaming would be Armor Three. Armor Three is a good one. Gary's Mod. Uh, what else is there? Ooh, Portal. No, Portal's on Xbox anyway. But yeah, look, I don't have a very extensive Steam library anyway. But you know what I'm talking about. If you're a PC gamer, you know that there's a lot of games on the PC that are exclusive to the PC. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and tell me what you think about the possibility of, well not the possibility, tell me what you think about streaming Xbox One games to your PC and the possibility 
of the reverse being possible. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And the big K, we'll see you later.